Hi this is Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with AMAC. For the tip of the week I'm going to share a few things for you regarding the Stamparatus. The Stamparatus is our stamp positioning tool. It comes with these two removable acrylic plates. It comes with a foam mat to use for especially to cushion photopolymer stamps. It comes with this grid which is drawn into the base and it comes with two magnets. These magnets are super strong and I've just attached a bit of washi tape on it to be able to pick it up easier. One word of warning is don't have the magnets too close together because if you bring them close together they will snap together and can break very easily. You can see how super strong they are. Apparently the more brittle the magnet the better the quality of them. So I just generally tend to use one at a time. So to use your Stamparatus these hinges are designed for um, stamping patterns in a line and stamping greetings and stuff as well so I'll just do a demonstration for you but another tip that I have for you we have grid paper available which you can buy this is just paper and I use it to sit it right in the platform and another thing as well is when I stamp I tend not to put things right in the corner especially if I'm stamping up in this corner because of how the hinge is positioned I don't get enough pressure on that part for stamping so I always tend to move my bit of cardstock further down and for replacing the hinges, for moving the hinges, you can't take it out of the sockets this way. It has to be vertical for you to be able to move it and move it along and stamp. I will show you how to use it in a second. So I'll just line my piece of paper up and I've gone in two squares from either side. I'll use my magnet to hold my paper in place. This is particularly important when you're using photopolymer stamps because they can get really sticky and sometimes want to move the paper up. So I'm going to line the stamp up where I want it to go and then I'll just sit my pl plate over the top of it like so. So then I can just open that up so you can see how it's lifting the paper there except my stamp hasn't attached. Okay so that's in position. Now I get my ink pad and I just gently ink up my stamp and then I press down gently and just apply a bit of pressure on the spot where I'm stamping. And you can see where it hasn't stamped properly. I will just apply some more pressure and I get the perfect image. So that's the beauty of the Stamparatus. It will position your stamp in exactly the same spot. Now if I want to repeat this image I will just move down a few hinges and I'll see where that's likely to line up. So this will enable me to get a perfectly straight line and a continuation of my stamped image. So it's fantastic for creating a nice border as well. So I can do that the same on the other side as well if I want to flip the paper I can repeat the same pattern and have the identical pattern there. I'll just flip this over and show you another example but I will just grab a scrap bit of paper because I haven't cleaned my stamp. Get the bulk off. 
So I want my stamp to sit here. So then I'll just close that down and I should have popped my magnet down. You can see how that's picked up the paper and that's stamped there. So for the purpose of the demonstration, I will just line the paper up. This is why it's good to use grid paper as well. So hopefully I've popped that in the right spot. And you can see how I've stamped a little bit of ink onto the plastic plate. That won't matter as I stamp down because that will keep a gap between the plate and the paper. So it shouldn't affect my stamping. So I've managed to line that up perfectly. And I'll just show you what a repeat pattern, um, how that looks when you move down with your hinges as well. So you can change the colour of your inks in between. See how that hasn't stamped? I'll just press down there until I'm happy with it. I'll re-ink and I'll lift my plate up, move it down another hinge and re-stamp. And you can see how much ink I'm getting on the clear plate there, but it's not coming off on my stamped image at all. So then I'm going to move my magnet out of the way so I can move down and repeat my pattern again. So the two plates are really handy if you've got one card and you're doing a pattern on one side and a greeting on another and especially if you're doing a bulk, bulk amount of the same card like for Christmas time or something like that then you can just stamp one image and then put the other plate and stamp it the other way as well but you can have both plates sitting in position at the same time and you can have that one just opened out while you're stamping this one so that's just showing you how i've stamped my repeat image there and that's perfectly spaced um, and parallel as well so that's another advantage of using your stamparatus Another thing to keep in mind is that you cannot um, store both of your plates. I'm just going to turn this the other way so the ink's on the top. You can't store them both flat like that. I normally have one in position for storage and then I just sit the other one on top of it and I pop it into my bag or you can pop it into your box. We do actually have a bag available as well. So if you have any other questions for me, um, if I haven't covered everything, please pop some questions down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. But I really do suggest getting a Stamparatus. It's absolutely perfect for the greetings and especially if you're trying to line things up and you want them lined up perfectly and you can't. Um, if you miss stamp the first time, basically, you can just stamp the um, image or the greeting again without any issues. So I'll just do another quick demonstration. For example, if I want my greeting to go here. So what I would do is I would remove my other stamp hopefully that's straight you can see how that's lifting the paper up that's why it's really handy to have the grid paper in position and I've just smudged some ink off my fingers onto that this is for demonstration purposes only I would have much less inky fingers otherwise so there I'll just stamp the greeting and I'm pretty happy with that so you can see if you had multiple cards you could just line them up in the same spot and just close it down and do your repeat 
stamp and get a perfect result every time hope you've enjoyed that please let me know once again if you've got any questions happy to help you out happy stamping and have a great day